Okay, story time. Battle of the Mountains. Long ago, Maui pulled a huge fish called Te Ika a Maui from the ocean. You remember the story? Slowly but surely, the fish settled and became the North Island of New Zealand. In the center of its back, around Lake Taupo, stood a group of seven mountains. The chief, the boss man, the mighty Tongorero, scowled at the other mountains. Taranaki, with his cloak of snow, frowned back at him. Tauhara and Puta, Putaaki were smaller than Taranaki, but they also glared at the mighty Tongariro. All these mountains loved a beautiful mountain named Pihanga. Pihanga was sad about the trouble that was brewing between her husband, Tongarero, and the other mountains. What do you think? Is she a pretty mountain? Pihanga and Tongarero had two children. Their children were Ruapehu and Nauru. Na Uruhoi. One by one, the male mountains challenged Tongarero to a fight, each wanting the beautiful Pihanga for his bride. Taranaki rushed at Tongarero, blasting hot rocks at his rival. They met with a deafening crash. Tongarero hurled fiery boulders back at Mount Taranaki. Do you see what kind of mountains they are? They're volcanoes. Hot lava coming out the top. Pū Tauaki and Tauhara. Tauhara rushed Tongarero from behind. Flows of boiling lava spilled from their craters towards Tongarero's back. Pihanga cried out a warning, watch out, and Tongarero was able to dodge the molten hot lava. For days the battle raged. The earth shook and great chunks were knocked off of the mountain's heads. At last, Tongarero's strength and courage won the battle. The three defeated mountains retreated under the cover of night. They ran away when it was nighttime. Mm, where do they run to? Mount Taranaki headed west towards the setting sun. His great weight carved a deep valley of the Manganui Te Ao and Whanganui river, rivers. Where did the other two mountains go? Tauhara kept looking back at Pihanga and only reached the northern end of Lake Taupo. Pū Tauaki went further, reaching the Kaingaroa Plains. Then the sun's rays froze the fleeing mountains, and they became rooted to the spot they had reached. The sun had frozen them, and they couldn't move anymore. the end.